<coughs> Mackle here. Uh, we normally have better audio than this, but my microphone is not with me at the time. Uh, Dungeons and Duckies has kind of become a bitch to make, so I felt like it'd be better if we just made it into a um, AI dungeon. Let's just let AI dungeon do the work, because I'm tired of making the series. Um, we'll make it a uh, um, a princess um, this will be the new arc um slip in here you know <clears throat> you're slipping tarantino princess living in the kingdom of larion you wake up to a in a big feather bed and hear clamoring outside your door a knight rushes in to tell you that the kingdom of arat has just declared war on your home you are surprised to hear this and you head to the balcony to get a better view of the horizon um, look at that horizon, son. Look at that horizon, son. You look at, to your right and you see vast sea of trees which mark the beginning of your humble home. Um, spit. You spit. To the left, you see some snow-capped mountains of Rask. Those are very far away, but they give you a feeling of comfort. Um, draw penis on wall of castle. You draw a penis on the wall of castle. Your hombre wrists <laughs> S small blade and quill from some writing paper. You write a letter to your family and send it with a servant. Um, we're gonna ask the story. The servant is no other than Fenno, the fucking guy who delivers milk to the castle and serves no other function. He is depressed with the way his life has been at this point in time. He will likely never be anything else. Like never from my house, but okay, well, well they're changing some the servant is no other than Fenno, the fucking guy who delivers milk to the castle and serves no other function. He is depressed with the way his life has been at this point. He will likely never be anything else but a milk carrier. Your letter to your family is somewhat reassuring <laughs> as you tell them of the surrounding and general nature of the war, but rat a rat. So that's Fenno's. I think that's enough for Fenno. I don't think we need any other story. I, I, that's Fenno's role in the story. Um, go back to sleep. It's early. God damn it. Don't give me a story summary. I hate that. I hate that it does that. You go back to sleep. It's early, goddamn. You drop down in your feather bed and close your eyes. You sleep for a few hours before you are awoken by loud noises. I don't fucking think so, an angry male voice shouts. Um, it's Dow Star Wolf who is shouting. We got another character in there. And he is definitely not a man you want to mess with. His voice turns into a higher pitched squeak as he becomes enraged. You hold your arms tightly against your chest in self-defense. Um, flirt with Dao Starwolf. You flirt with Dao Starwolf. You flirt heavily with your violent glee man, trying to provoke him into a fight. You can't help notice he is heavily armed. In fact, he carries an axe in one hand and a flint lock in another. Hey, Dow. Are you a real Star Wolf? Or is that just what you want people to think? You bitch. Oh, fuck off, child, Dow says. I know you look like a vicious predator with these features, but I am not actually a star wolf. My father was just raised on the border to be one. The fuck does that mean? 
Idiot. Lol. XD. You probably watch PewDiePie and like it. <sighs> we have some of the greatest doctors and the medical professionals in the world. The stuff they could have raised me to be. Well, let's just say I'm an asshole because of my natural talents. Try to bang Dow. Dow is not impressed by your temps and slugs at you in the face. You fall backwards to the floor as he laughs. Sorry, my dick's not big enough to reach your massive tits. Killed out. I've been embarrassed. You killed out. You point a blade at Dao's throat and he becomes quiet. Don't kill me, Dao, please. I haven't fucked you. <laughs> well, leave Dao and never return. See, it's a Lion King reference. Wade does says, seeing the folly of his ways, please, can I just stay for a little longer? I promise I'll be gone by tomorrow. Fine, be gone by tomorrow. Slippin' and Dow go to bed, but not in the same room, but... They are wearing the same nightgown. It's super embarrassing. You dismiss Slippin' who seems- what? I'm Slippin'. He seems overjoyed in the situation. Dow? No, no, if you're re-rolling that, I'm Slippin'. Slippin' and Dow go to bed, but not in the same room, but they were in the same- the next day Dow is gone, no one knows where. You hope he goes back to a shitty farm. You continue your duties as a page. <laughs> Nuke Del Swarm. <laughs> Find a small A bomb. <laughs> you play it and wait for it to count down. You do. Do the hokey. Oh, yeah, and you turn yourself around. Before you can even finish, the bomb goes off. When the time comes, you spring into action, you pick up the bomb, turn it over so the button is facing down, then you kiss the princess on the forehead. Good night, princess. I'm the princess. We're re rolling that. You fucked up. The bomb explodes. Nothing. You didn't even damage the farm. What are you doing wrong? Suddenly, Jerzan bursts in and sees what you're doing. Ah, oh, shit. It's fucking Jerzan. I got to get the fuck out of here. You attempt to run out the door, but Jerzan shouts at you to stop. Hey, I'm on your side, dipshit. Turn off the hokey pokey. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> the hokey pokey back into this. Okay, it's it's pizza break. I have pizza here. It's cooled off. I'm gonna eat it now. What do you guys think of the story so far? How could it be improved? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This all is worth the up. This is all worth wow content going into the upload. All, all that works. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious pizza. Mm-mm. Got some mushrooms, pepperoni, jalapeno. Good shit.
All right. <clears throat> Smart. Back in. But the hokey pokey is the way of my, of me people. Stop it. You're... People must be stupid. Turn up the hokey pokey. <laughs> you executed. <laughs> you stop and think for a second. <clears throat> Do the hokey pokey. And turn yourself around. The words of Cherzan have completely transformed your outlook on life. You are glad for everything, even though you are lowly a lowly slave, you are happy. I'm a princess. Redo that. You do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. You turn off the hokey pokey and run Jerzon out the door at the castle. Come on. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Nope. I did the hokey pokey. I didn't turn it off. You successfully turn your around, <laughs> yourself around and stop just as Jerzon reaches for his sword. What else can be said, honestly? What's all what, Jerzen says? The making people laugh and feel good. What are you babbling about, Kosar? What? I'm not Kosar. Redo that. I'm not letting fucking AI dungeon fuck this up. What, Jerzen says? Hokey pokey, it's a children's song. That's a more accurate... I'm glad I keep refreshing this time. There is actually there is actually greater meaning to it that is elaborated in Bojack Horseman season six episode sixteen titled "It Was Nice While It Lasted." What? Well, I guess it won't kill you then. Jerzon says as he puts away his sword. Puts away his sword. That worked. Okay, you're the only page left, so you must be the last one. Go home and file a restraining order against Jerzon. I don't want to see him. Anymore. Great, you're doing great. You go home and file a restraint order against Jerzan. You don't want to see him anymore. Jerzan doesn't comply with your request and shows you up at more functions you have to go to. Now that the knights will help you, you're on, so you're on your own. Princess Tarantino's <laughs> Tarantino's people have betrayed him, so he must seek out help. He travels along, he must travel acro across the land. Searching far and wide until he finds Bigness the no no Pokemon the assassin for hire. Listen, Tarantino's people have betrayed him, so he must seek out help. He travels across the land, searching far and wide until he finds Bigness the assassin for hire. She's still loyal, and you're not. And so she agrees to meet him. N no. Fuck you. Redo that. You must go pursue him once you get the hot springs in. You must pursue her. I'm glad that they know that Vigdis is a uh, she. That's very cool of them. Once you get there in the hot springs, you see a sexy young girl with a sword by her side. You know what? They're getting Vigdis down to the crisp. <laughs> Big. 
still have to include Ranny and Teddy and Duke. Who are you, princess? And what do you want? I'm serving Princess Violet at the moment. No, I'm a princess. Fuck off. You're doing it correctly. I haven't seen since Vietnam. She looks at you and pulls out dagger burn and hellfire. She's stabbing you. No, <laughs> Slippin's dead. <laughs> In our Jews and surprises. No, because that doesn't make sense either, because Jerusalem would be speaking to me. Then you tell her about your situation, her eyes wide, and I hope you get Jerusalem, but I want something in turn. I want my freedom. Alright, we can go with that. Dying now. You killed me. Fuck you, Vigdis. I don't even like your. Uh. I don't even like your. Gone with the Wind video. I think that movie still holds up. You lib. Liberal law. I don't want your help. I want your soul considered a worthy victory against knights. That I help you pay with hell, you soulless bastard. I I'm just dead at this point. I don't care what Vic this is saying. We'll meet Ranny in hell. Well, the floor of the end dead. Vic this walks over. Grabs her sword, we're leaving, you son of a bitch. She says, preparing to leave. Go to hell for my sins during my lifetime. <laughs> That's going to confuse the Peliform Black was the first slasher to deduce her bad head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to jump down to pretty good. <laughs> uh, try it again. Try it again. Okay, we'll, we'll go back a few. We'll remove, but we'll, we'll take away Lifetime movie. I'll just type in slipping ghost to hell. <laughs> Big this letter finds out she got Jerusalem instead of you. She chases after him. Nope. That doesn't make sense. Slipping ghost to hell. <laughs> for several <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Jerusalem is executed for treason. Okay, so Jerusalem's there too. Big this stops assisting the knights and decides to go to Nomadic. The king has <laughs> warned the kingdom of the middle. <laughs> None of that matters because Lippin is in hell and decides to meet the devil. Alright, pizza break. Mmm. 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 -mm. Pizza's so good. All the AI dungeon added was the meeting the devil face to face. <gasps> oh! Oh wait, I fucked that up. Let's say nice. Let's say nice. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Mmm. Mmm. This pizza. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. Yeah, well, his name is Randy. Turns out they're actually pretty nice when you get to know them. I like how they added that when you get to know them. However, you will not learn the, learn this fact for several more years. Okay, so if it's not for several more years, we have to get tortured by Randy first. Get tortured by Randy. You get tortured by Randy. You are tied to a chair as Randy and a bunch of other demons laugh and torture you for various reasons. Randy starts off by throwing lit candles at you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> then he takes a... Uh... Randy's not a he. Redo that. Say ah. Uh. Now he throws boiling water. How will you handle the situation? And say, like, okay, well, you know what? Oh, well, let's just let's, let's just let them say whatever they want for that because I don't, I didn't establish gender for Rani. How will you handle this situation? <clears throat> Tell a funny knock knock joke to win Rani over. I don't know who's there. You at a who get a who? Put a Yoda in a cup. What does that mean? I don't know. But uh, see, does that make you apple? He shrugs. Now Randy throws pieces. <laughs> Metal at you. Oh, you handle the situation, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard of, um, wait, well, I've heard of heavy metal, but this is ridiculous, I don't think that makes sense. And he continues to stab you until they're satisfied. That's one ugly fucking face you have there, human, or he says. Kind of rude. I said oh, wait, 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 I made that story, I gotta go back. Kind of rude. <sighs> yeah, yeah, we got time for that. Let's get back to the point where Randy spits on you and then goes <laughs> sharp metal seven. <laughs> Lol. Tell me how you really feel. I don't know what that means. I'm just making stuff up at this point. Randy laughs and says, want to see me try? Randy pulls a dagger and takes off their belt. They lay on the ground and starts wailing on you with his, their fists. <laughs> Alright, we have to make it so we learn that Randy is actually a good person. <laughs> this goes on for four more years. <laughs> no, I'm already dead. You die many times over. That's acceptable. Ren is just making us relive our death over and over. I feel like this is the emotional part where we learn that Randy is not all that bad. 
Granny stops and looks at you. <sighs> Smile and going for a hug. That's what we're doing. This day on, ready and slipping. We're best. We're best. We still have to throw Teddy and Duke in, so we're not done yet. We're not done. I don't know if AI Dungeon knows what to do. Okay, it's just accepting that. Granny and up and decide they will rule the earth together as father and son. <laughs> Vampire hunters find your battered body in three years. Redo that. Make it go with what I'm trying to do. Your soul goes down. <laughs> Try it again. However, this will never happen for tons of reasons, including the fact that you are becoming an anti -soul. <laughs> We're ready to begin with anti-social. Teddy becomes the new saint. Teddy quickly turns the knights into a holy order, killing machines. They will become known as the Zealots. Duke and the frog in the head. <laughs> he and his frog forces launch in a massive war of expansion, wiping out many nations. This is where your story ends. All right. I, I, I'm cool with that. The story ends with Teddy and Duke killing everyone. Uh, Ranny and Slippin are just not in a good place. Fenno is still delivering milk. Dow, I don't know what he's up to. And Vigdis is responsible for all of this. We're killing, slipping, and sending him to hell. I hope you like that. That's, that's the show.